Hello, my name is Davis Lynch, and I have a channel on YouTube called Davis's Exotics. Uh, this is my bioactive ball python vivarium, and uh, over here you can see is her warm hide. It's just a half log with two pieces of cork bark in front of it, and then right there behind it is a pothos and then a bromelid right there. And then on the substrate, you can see there's a bunch of leaf litter on it and some sphagnum moss. And then back there is a little place that she likes to climb sometimes. Um, it's just an artificial piece of wood. And then there's two types of diff uh, two different types of diffenbachia uh, right near it. And then there's another type of pothos right there, a uh, bromelid, and here is her cold hide, which is made out of just different pieces of driftwood and cork bark. And then on top of it is an air plant. And then right next to it right there is another type of pothos. It's a neon or golden pothos, I don't remember. When I was looking for a bioactive enclosure for my ball python, uh, I was just searching online for good enclosures that I thought would really showcase the entire setup with all the plants and my snake. And I definitely think this enclosure does that. Um, I really like the feature with the sliding doors and hey, you can see it from all sides and I really like the nice background in the back. Bioactive is pretty much just like a natural organic living setup with plants and microfauna like springtails and isopods. There's different cleanup crew as some people call them, uh, which kind of makes it self-cleaning. You still, it'd still be good to spot clean it from time to time and just make sure there's not too much buildup of the waste um, from your animal, but it, mostly it can be self-cleaning. Okay. Davis's display enclosure is a two-level hybrid reptile system with two 48-inch by 24-inch by 18-inch vivariums between 12-inch tall stand and hood sections. Each cage has acrylic sides, front sliding doors, and top panels. The floor and back of the cages are aluminum laminate material. The back of each cage also has a photo finish and four air vents. The bottom enclosure is separated into two sections by a removable acrylic divider. Okay. Uh, this is my um, leopard geckos enclosure. It just has um, a mat at the bottom for substrate and then some fake vines around the worm hide and then a little fake plant right there a feeding dish, a dish so he can get more calcium, and then um, a water bowl, and there's his cold hide right there, and then his humid hide, and there's just another piece of enrichment right there, which is a fake tree, and then just uh, some things I really like about this enclosure is the nice sliding doors and the lock. Uh, that just makes it really nice. I like how you can still see through the doors and they slide in the front opening, and I really like how there's vents in the back so that um, you can just uh, get air circulation through that and you don't need one on the top, which I really like. I also really like this stand and the hood, so there's extra storage above the enclosure and below it, and I really like how it looks too. It's like a natural wood grain, which I really like. Thank you so much to Custom Cages. I couldn't have gotten these amazing enclosures for my animals without you guys, so thank you so much. I really love these enclosures and pretty much everything about them. Thank you.